So then, this is the town of Worcester, and let's zoom in. So here is a bus stop, and what's the name of the bus stop? What? You are kidding! McDonald's! So you're naming a bus stop after this fast food restaurant. So there's this church here. Well, it's it's been converted into a restaurant, but that doesn't mean you can't name a bus stop after, after it. This church is called St. Nicholas. So seriously, they should have called this bus stop St. Nicholas after the former church, which is located next to. Seriously. Why on earth would you call your bus stop McDonald's? I mean, can it seriously be the only McDonald's in Hereford? And even it's on the wrong street corner. There's, there's the bus stop and there's McDonald's. And there's St. Nicholas Church. So let's see. So there's one in Worcester, here at St. Nicholas, and it shows the bus stop, and if I zoom out, there's also another McDonald's, this one is, is on Hilton Road and Tybridge Street, next to the river. And there's also this one in the retail park, which has a drive through on Blackpool Road, opposite the Blackpool. And did they call the bus stop there McDonald's? No, they called it Blackpool Inn, which is sort of more sensible. I think that bus stops, ideally they should be named after the local landmark that's nearest to them, which could be a church, or it could be a junction. And then if there's not one of those, then name it after a pub. Then if there's not one of those, then name it after a street. Or if there are more pubs than streets. But that's rare. I mean, you can find that in Marlborough. But seriously, do not name your bus stop after shops. But there's this bus stop called McDonald's. But that's not the only horrible one. I found quite a few horrible ones. So I'm going to show you my hunt for these horrible bus stop names. Not too bad. I do remember seeing one somewhere. I think it was in Colchester. No, no, Chelmsford. Chelmsford has this rather nice sort of bus loop in which the buses go down Duke Street and then they go back up via Victoria Road. Basically, all buses go to the centre, they go down Duke Street, um, and on the way back up, they use Victoria Street, or they go they go all the way up around Victoria Road here, but then that's not that common. So this bus stop, basically here, here you have some bus stops. This bus stop's called Tyndall Street, which is nice and sensible, um, although I think maybe I'd have named... I, th I think till... I think I'd have called it Tyndall Street as well. Um, and there's this bus stop. I'd have named these bus stops um, something, maybe maybe Conduit Street or High Chelmer. And they're called Reed Agency and H&M. And even so, let's look at it. How old is H&M? It's, it's, it's only 69 years old. And who operates the buses here? Chelmsford Park and Ride. And who operates the buses here? It's first. 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 
first are uh, first were founded in April 1995. But I'm pretty sure that the H and M in in H and M in Chelmsford wasn't opened in 1995. I mean, they're a Swedish company. They used to operate only in Sweden, and they have eco discs. But also, Reed Agency. I hate that too. So they have a bus stop, they call it Reed Agency, after the job centre. And Reed ha Employment Services, founded 1960. Um... Reeds is also a bad name for a bus stop. I'm, I'm sure buses were already operating in Chelmsford by 1960. So here you have Cathedral, which I think is actually a very good name. I mean, just seriously, bus stop. Don't name your bus stops things like H&M and McDonald's. Although, I would accept that if you're bus stop was next to a roundabout with a big McDonald's that was the only major landmark on the roundabout, no pubs or anything, no shopping centres, um, then I would be okay with calling the bus stop, um, I, then I would be okay with calling the bus stop um, McDonald's roundabout. I mean, a lot of people actually refer to bus stop. Uh, actually referred to a local roundabout near them as the McDonald's roundabout. But I just don't get the fucking point of... Seriously, why? Why do you call your bus stops McDonald's and H&M? It's not really so much of a problem in London here. Because in London we have IBUS, and that means that they say the names of the bus stops, which means that everyone's going to know the name. And so if there's a bus stop called McDonald's, it's going to be a huge embarrassment, but let's look for some more. Holyrood Church. I think that's quite a good name. West Key. Those are quite good names. Let's try and find a place that has bad names. Probably Portsmouth has probably good names. I think this circle is just to indicate that I've clicked. I mean, you can hear the mouse, but what if you can't? I mean, well, it's like the south of England seems to have a lot better bus names. It's, it's the north that has this problem. Let's see. Stoke on Trent, where I would rather like to build some sort of light rail going along this abandoned railway and also going north to south from Hanchurch up to Kidsgrove and from and from Stoke to Knoll. I mean Keel. <laughs> Knoll Park is that really nice place where where you, I really like to sort of run and then bounce off the sides of the road. I get up to an amazing speed up there. You should really check it out. But So this bus stop, it doesn't even have a proper name. This bus stop's just called Stop X. I mean, call it Stoke Minster. That's good. But Stop X. And these bus stops, Stop Q, Stop P, Stop O, those aren't proper names. You call it Stoke Post Office, Church Street, Welsh, Welsh Street. And here you have Hill Street and the A52. I'm running out of time. Screencastify only allowed some amount of time. Uh, I have to stop now. Sorry. <laughs>